Hello, my name is Kumo Buenze uh, from Mboka Anazambe in Gabon, God's Universal Village. I am a Ganga Nasomba in the Miobe tradition, <clears throat> and um, I'm here to uh, have a talk in regards to an event that began in uh, 2022, um, of which I was a part of. Um, I was in Mboka Anazambe, God's Universal Village at this time when a French documentary film crew arrived um, producing a film called uh, Mika Mui. Uh, the documentary maker was uh, Pascal Benjamin and uh, they were coming unannounced to the village and demanded that they actually were shown some of the things that we, of which we live by, our principles and our understandings. Now there is a cultural divide when you arrive somewhere with a colonial mindset as these people you're only ever going to anthropologically speaking observe through that lens which was clearly the outcome as i'm going to outline so they arrived with the principle of actually extorting the tradition by asking to put an art in situ sculpture within the premises which was hidden behind an agenda of claiming that this was freeing Africa. Now, this is an extortion and a colonialism of what is tradition. We were more than happy to actually demonstrate uh, Guiana and Azambia, God's Universal Mirror Seance for, for the, uh, the film crew. And they took and proceeded to take a whole lot of film in and around the village, depicting the village as something that it was not. This was revealed and released within a couple of months ago, showing and outlining that children and women in the village were not allowed to leave the village, that they'd never been anywhere, that they were forced to wear skirts. Of course you were forced to wear skirts because that's what we ask of you to enter the village and you should also be praying at the door if we are going to deal with you at any, any point. Of course, but whilst you're here to actually depict without any formally based information, at all about how we live or our way of life. You're simply looking at the surface and all of a sudden you've assumed an authority on how Bwiti functions and how King Adamangana functions. That's complete colonial extortion of a tradition, a demonization of African spirituality that continues. Now I'm here to make some more further comments. I was a topic of this, this documentary and film. I was on the film without my permission. I was not asked. I was not, it was not checked by me. They put me on this film and then later spoke for me from their words, saying that the Australian was then in the hospital the next day with them attempting to demonize what is God in our culture, which is the Iboga. Now, this is a complete colonial extortion and I was part of it and I'm here to address the Western audience. So they're made privy. To this film and we you can refer to our website and stories in Bokane Zambe or Ikara to find out and learn more about the original cast or mold of the film and the one that we've adjusted now this is my duty now to actually is to, to talk out about this if there wasn't this uh, unhinged debased uh, promotion and assumed authority of information then there would be no need for me to stand here and correct this. But I'm addressing this directly to you there, especially Pascal Benjamin and his son, speaking poorly about people with no base. It's the lowest form, and it's a fact, it's the same thing that your French colonial forefathers did and have been doing in, in Gabon and the Congo and everywhere else for the last five, six hundred years. So in a lot of ways, we shouldn't be surprised. But when we open our house to you with the intent of you agreeing and being culturally sensitive and assisting us and for you to turn your back and to demonize what we are is typical of your heritage. And that's what we can see now. So please, if one of you is happening to listen, feel free to reach out to me. But just know, I've already mentioned that for you to actually not seek approval on my regard and then to speak out about my family 
is an error and completely incorrect. Everybody knows through our work, with our intercultural programs with indigenous in the West, our promotion of the reconciliation of God in self in Butu, and our complete direction of equality. Every individual is considered the same. The deep compassion, love, and humility of King Adamangana, donating his whole entire life to the reformation of what is happening with the individual on this evilly run planet. And you were to turn around and do such a thing, which denotes your evil programming. So everybody listening, please refer to our videos um, and things on the topic to learn more if you're interested and to be aware of anything that is being promoted about Mboka and Zambe without first checking with the people that actually uh, live and reside and work within the NGO Ibota Manganga.